You may have heard of the PCR test for COVID-19. But what is PCR and how can it help us detect the tiny, almost invisible coronavirus that causes COVID-19? It is very difficult to see something that is small and present in tiny amounts. For instance, trying to see one jellyfish when we look at a huge ocean is not really possible. But we can see large numbers of jellyfish when they are all together. If we have many jellyfish as a group or bloom of jellyfish, we are much more likely to be able to see them. PCR, which stands for the polymerase chain reaction, is a way of making copies of something called DNA. DNA is something that's found at the center of all living cells. It works like a tiny computer code telling cells what to do. But it is present in very small amounts, too small for us to properly see. PCR is a clever way of copying one tiny piece of DNA until we can see it, like a bloom of jellyfish in the ocean. PCR makes copies of DNA in a very specific way, building up lots and lots of replicas of the original DNA. So after we carry out PCR, we can now see this large amount of DNA using a special machine. The coronavirus that causes COVID-19 has something like DNA at its center, called RNA, and we can detect this using the PCR test too. This is the test that is used to tell when people have the virus in their nose or mouth. To do this, a nose swab is taken to a lab where the PCR test is carried out. We then add chemicals that are important for PCR to work. These include chemicals called primers that find only the coronavirus DNA, ignoring all the other DNA that is present, and an enzyme that copies the DNA. Everything is added to a machine called a thermocycler. You can guess by its name that a thermocycler heats and cools the mixture over and over again. The mixture must go through three temperature stages in each cycle. In the first stage of PCR, the two DNA strands are broken apart by heating to high, almost boiling temperatures of 95 degrees for one minute. In the second stage, the primers we added find only the coronavirus DNA and stick to it. The primers are very specific and will only find the coronavirus DNA. This is carried out at a temperature of about 50 degrees. In the last stage of PCR, a chemical called an enzyme copies the coronavirus DNA. It can only make a copy if the primer has stuck properly to the DNA. This means that only coronavirus DNA will be copied, so the test is excellent at finding the virus. This is carried out at a temperature of 72 degrees. The thermocycler then goes back to stage one and the process starts again. So initially, one copy becomes two copies. Then we repeat the cycles again to give four copies, and then eight copies, and then 16 copies, and so on. The number of copies of DNA grows as we repeat more PCR cycles. By repeating this series of events up to 40 times, we build up many millions of copies of the DNA. We have gone from a very tiny amount of DNA to millions of copies. We now have an amount of DNA that we can see, similar to being able to see large amounts of jellyfish in the ocean.